This is Dorothy from Tai Chi Bozeman slash Raw Food Blog and I'm going to show you how to make alfalfa and clover sprouts today. And they look like this. They're mixed. You can grow these in your own house and for no soil you can have your own sprouts. They're really high in chlorophyll and they're ugh, incredibly high in antioxidants. Um, if you're a vegetarian, this is your protein, okay? This is a tremendous amount of protein. So whenever anybody asks you where you get your protein, sprouts. So start today with alfalfa and clover. It's really simple. And you don't need much at all. All you need is the seeds. And this is clover and alfalfa right here. And very, very inexpensive. One bag will last you a long time. And then you need a jar. And this is for a lot of sprouts. This is for like this many sprouts. And you need a jar with a screen on top with very tiny holes. Or you can put a nylon on top. That's what I'm doing with these wheatgrass seeds right here because I didn't have a lid for that. So what you do is you just take the jar and you cover the bottom with the seeds. So I'm going to make a mix of alfalfa and clover and just put a bunch in the bottom of this jar. You don't have to measure it or anything. It's very simple. And cover the bottom of the jar. So you can see just the bottom is covered and no matter what size jar you're using, even if you use a little jar, you always cover just the bottom of the jar and that will make enough to fill the jar. And then you fill it with water. So I'm going to fill it with purified water. And you don't have to fill the whole jar because it's just going to soak for 24 hours. So there you can see I filled it with just about that much of water. It's going to soak up some, but not very much. And then you put the lid on and you put this in the dark for 24 hours. And the dark can just be a cupboard or under a counter or anywhere you want. And then after 24 hours you pour off the water. And I usually pour this over my plants, my other plants that are growing so I don't waste water. And then every day for the next three or five days you water the seeds again just once a day. Just a little bit enough to moisten the seeds and then every day you just pour it out again. So this is what you do every day for three days, four or five, depending on what size sprouts you want to eat. This is five day old sprouts because I like the long ones, but the short ones have incredible nutrients as well, so it's totally up to your taste. So that's how you grow alfalfa seeds and clover seeds into sprouts. Enjoy Dorothy at Tai Chi Bozeman slash Raw Food Blog.